gang what's up welcome back here to another edition of the fishing teacher and thanks for tuning in to today's video much appreciated guys today we're going to be talking about something that happens during the last week of may we're in it right now going to give you guys some tips and advice how to take advantage of it so the main thing guys we're talking about is for the most part of the country it's in the post spawn right now a lot of the fish have already spawned um, they're getting ready to move out to a little bit deeper water but sort of 50 50 maybe half of them are half of them aren't and guys the thing that happens like right now and it's happening right now every lake i've been to the last week it's going everywhere the bluegill and the perch are starting to bed right now they're making beds everywhere like in the back of the coves and this is something you really want to take advantage of because bass will hunt these bluegills when they're spawning and that's why half of the bass uh, in most lakes will stay shallow during this time of the year they're back in there hunting and feeding on those bluegills so it's pretty easy what you need to look for i don't care the size of the lake you're fishing it could be a 200 acre lake or a 200,000 acre lake just try to find the back ends of some flatter coves or just some flat banks back in the creeks and get back in there and look for these these beds if you have water visibility of anything like over two foot you're going to be able to see them most of the time they're going to be bedding in you know anywhere between one to four feet of water depending upon your clarity and they bed uh they put lots of beds in one area the, the most of the beds that a bluegill will make is usually anywhere between 12 to 18 inches in diameter and it's not like a bass where you see one here and one there it's almost like a honeycomb effect when they're blue when they're when they're bedding there's beds everywhere close to each other and you'll see bluegills swimming around on them and bass are in there stalking those things so one of the things you want to do to take advantage of it is throw a topwater bait you know walking topwater a frog a chugger something like that's really good another bait that can be really good on it is a wacky rig just take a wacky rig soft stick bait throw it in those bedding areas like that and uh it's you can catch good ones too i mean you can catch some big fish doing that it's a it's a really really good option if you don't want to fish deeper water like a lot of the guys get out and live scope and fish deep during the post spawn you can still do really good fishing shallow and if you're fishing a lake where the water is too dirty to see them say say the lake you fish has maybe 12 inches of visibility one of the best ways you can do is to is they still bed in those same areas even though you can't see them just go back into those areas with a swim jig and throw a swim jig over those areas maybe a little buzz bait something like that and you'll be able to catch those fish so it's going to be going on guys from now until the rest of the summer the, really i think the best time is from now till about the first part of july and then they start uh, tapering off a little bit even though they do it all the way through the early fall but anyway get in take advantage of that get shallow and see what happens we'll see you